we sail from Keyword Offshore Service in Ingleside, Texas, July 13th, and it's about six months since then. When we left Keywit, the installation team was offshore and they were pre-assembling the tendons, which were left floating. We have 16 tendons vertical, floating vertically up. We ballasted the TLP down and we moved the TLP over top of the tendons, floated them over in other words, they ballasted that and pulled the tendons up into their latching mechanisms, secured them, deballasted the hull and turned it into a TLP, a tension leg platform. The installation team turned it over to the offshore hookup team and commissioning teams. We spent the next roughly five months doing the final hookups. We also had the pipeline installation, commissioning effort, and the umbilical installation. Getting us to where we are now, first story. I think one of the things that people don't realize who don't know a lot about what we do offshore is just how big this stuff is. I talked to my family about it, my dad, my dad's a retired engineer, and I explained to him the, the enormity of the size of what we're trying to do, both in terms of money, people that are working on this, but just the physical size of what we're doing. The hull is t about 20 stories tall. We've added to that the drilling rig and the components on top, another 25 stories. So when I talked to my dad about this, it's a reaction of awe that we're able to do these kinds of things in this kind of environment in the deep water Gulf of Mexico and to do it safely and securely, which is our priority around this, is just an enormous challenge. So a big part of this is the commitment that people have made to make us successful. For us, first all is a big milestone. The real accomplishment though for us is uh, the sustainability. As we bring on more production, uh, the uptime or the run time of the facility staying high. We're proud of what we accomplished today and we look forward to what we're going to see in the next few weeks and months. Attention on the TLP. Attention on the TLP. We are about to open the well. We're about to open up the first well, crack the valve on it. Okay, guys, after the years of planning and uh, a lot of hard work, the time is finally here. Let's go ahead and open this well. Brad Marshall, open that choke. Open it up. Open it up. Open up the choke. It's really the culmination of five and a half years of integration to get to this point. It's not the end of the project for sure. As a project team, we will continue to support operations as we ramp up to where we're fully loaded in the facility. But it does represent a, a really significant handover from a project team to an operating asset. And that will be a big moment. Mars B is a project, in my opinion, has been successful because of the integration that we've had across the different disciplines. You know, Shell is a huge organization, and you're bringing two very large pieces of that organization together to try to build this project, to put the steel together. It sets up perfectly to have a natural adversarial relationship, and we don't have that. I found that working with this team, both at a leadership team level and even down at the individual contributor level, we see examples of that across the board. And it's just made it a pleasure to work on this project. One thing I wanted to mention is how well our project has competed against other projects that have been out there at the same time that we have. It was really evident when we were at Kiwit during the integration phase we're going to deliver first production at, at Mars B anywhere from six months to a year ahead of those other projects. Real tribute to our, our project people, our technical support, and our operating staff. All right, give it another step. Okay, opening up one step. One step has been confirmed. Okay, Mars B, that's it right there. Leave it right where it's at, look at the drawdown following right down. It's a real validation of the way that we work, our execution models, 
and the people that we have that work together so well in managing both the technical and project delivery. The professionalism that they bring to the table, the sacrifice sometimes that they make to support each other. We can be proud as Shell. All right, man, looks like we got something flowing here. Come on, Rodney, we got flow, man. First off. Let's go find another one. <laughs> All right. Hey, buddy. We have flow. Attention on the TLP. Attention, Attention on the, the TLP. TLP. We, we are now officially a producing facility. facility. Congratulations, all. It's an amazing facility. The size itself is hard to describe. I think it sums up what's achievable. If you can think of it and you really want to get there, you can figure out a way to design, manufacture, fabricate, install, hook up, and start up a facility of this world-class size. The sky's the limit. I'm very proud of everybody who's worked on this, and I feel honored to have worked with them.